Hello traders, this is Friday. Hopefully I find you well and we are with another pre-market video for today. All right, so stocks rose a bit on Thursday. This is the 15 minutes um, chart of the SPY that tracks the S&P 500. Um, this is still the after effects of tax reform being passed and investors are hopeful that the lower rates will prompt companies to spend more on dividends and share buybacks. Now taking a look on the SPY, it traded upwards, the, uh, it traded upwards very solidly up until the last two hours of the day where selling got in and turned the index lower. This is a very common, you know, to happen uh, because inv traders and investors are looking forward to the long weekend and locking in some very hefty trading gains. Don't forget it's Christmas on Monday, yeah. So the stock market after today will renew its activity only on Tuesday next week. The, hot the hottest sectors of the day were the banks and energy. Uh, let's take a look on them. This is the KBE, a very uh, solid movement uh, yesterday, and the XLE which was uh, the, best, uh, the, the best sector uh, yesterday. And it really seems investors are betting on more economically sensitive sectors. The gain reflected a rotation to stocks particularly responsive to economic growth. Yet, as you can see on the daily chart of the XLE, um, if I take it back to the start of the year, so yes, uh, the XLE is still down uh, year to date, a, a loss of 4.2%. Uh, so absolutely it has underperformed this year, the S&P 500. Now a couple of stocks from the energy space, which was the place to be yesterday and to trade. Um, take a look on, first of all, CVX. This is Chevron, which hit a new all-time high, up 3.3% for the day after broker Cohen and Co. raised its price target on the stock by nearly a third to $160. It finished just down, just below $125. On the daily chart, it looks great, a new all-time high for CVX. But that was merely the only stock to perform like that. Other stocks in the space were Fang, F-A-N-G, this is a five-minute chart, Hess, DVN, APA, all of them show us a very solid uptrend all the day, one-way ticket uh, up, you name it, and the uh, at least couple of the stocks from the energy I want to put on my charts for today. Right, the Santa Claus rally officially begins today on Friday. This is the start of the final five trading days of 2017 and ends at the close uh, of uh, January 3rd, uh, the end of the second trading day of the new year. Now, the center, the center rally used to explain the, the year-end phenomena, which has proven to be, to be true, the, the old age in worse it goes, if Santa Claus should fail to call, bears will come to Broad and Wall. And for the matter of fact, the statistics shows support that and shows that the S&P 500 has averaged a consistent 1.3% gains in that seven day period. So the, as I said, the center rally is consisted of seven trading days, the last five trading days of the current year, together with the first two days of the new year, all in all, seven trading days. Even more important is the Santa Rally Indicator. It's an indicator of market health. And if we get the Santa Rally, that is good. And if not, then the last six times that Santa didn't show up, three were followed by flat years. That was in 1994, 2005, and 2015. Two were nasty bear markets in 2000 and 2008. What a great consistency and a mild bear in January 2016. And let me just show you what happened in 2016 uh, on the chart. So 
וסנטה קלאס, סנטה די אנד קול אין 2015, so let's take a look what happened there after in 2016. So I'm taking the chart back and this is the opening of the year of 2016. And the S&P 500 lost 2% during the Santa Rally period and continued falling, losing 10.5% for the year to date before bottoming on February 11th. It then turned around and ended 2016 uh, up, but that was one of the most nasty opening years for the S&P uh, 500. For the Santa Rally itself, a lot of it has to do with the end of tax loss selling and the fact that a lot of us are not around to you know really trade the market during this period so it's a period of time where a lot of participants are away and the smart money comes in and picks up values it's a time of year for positive vibrations and and bullish buying and if it doesn't happen you get the first sign that things are not so rosy. Turning to Friday, there is a heavy economic counter today with the durable goods and personal income and spending at half past eight Eastern time ahead of the opening bell. Then after into trading, we have new home sales and the most important University of Michigan Confidence Index, both at 10 o'clock Eastern time, 30 minutes into trading. I'm looking for a little weakness in the indices and narrow packet, pockets of trading action. Traders are likely to hit the exits early today, but the, th and the, the volume should be low, but the thinner trading can produce some interesting movements. So this is to take a look in, uh, on my li at my list of hot stocks for today, Nike, CITAS, CTAS, CAMP, and SGH. Towards the end of this video, one personal wish from me to you. Um, happy Christmas for those who celebrate it. Uh, may your world be filled with a warmth and good cheer. Wish you a Merry Christmas and may this festival bring abundant joy and happiness in your life. Have a great training day, guys, and I'll see you in our next video. Bye-bye.